Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to install a kill switch on the Mustang. I ordered it from Amazon, came in this box. It's got an on off button on it here. Here's how it connects to the negative terminal of the battery. Comes with two remotes that come with it. Turn it off and on. It's got some extra tools in here. A 1 4th and a 13 millimeter it looks like and an Allen wrench for the for the posts on it. And they give you the Allen wrench for the post because they got two different types of posts that go on here. They have these angled ones that you can put on it like this. You see there? If you wanted to angle it up, depending on how it, otherwise you put it down like this is which what I did. It actually came with this on it and I replaced it with that one there. It's also got this angled one here for the back side so you could also angle that up. You could see there. But I put the flat one on there because this will work better for the orientation of my battery. And so why do I have a kill switch for the Mustang? Or I guess you would call it a, it's a battery disconnect switch is really what it is. The reason I got it is because I store the Mustang here in Minnesota in the winter time. And they're not quite there yet, but you can kind of see the, the leaves on the trees over here are starting to turn a little bit. So it's getting to start to be fall here in Minnesota. But eventually I'm going to put the Mustang away and park it for the season. And when I do that, I always disconnect the battery off of it. And so if I put this on here, then I won't have to actually disconnect the battery anymore. I can just push the button and turn it off. They also say it could be used for, a, you know, security devices so that uh, you, if you park your car outside somewhere or something and you wanted to disable the car so that nobody else could start it up and steal it, you could just press the button. That would disconnect the battery. That would more than likely prevent most people from stealing the car. It says that once it's turned on, once the car started, it says it has a circuit in it that'll keep it from killing the car, even if you turn it off. And so we're, we're going to test that out and give it a try. So we're going to install it real quick. Turn it off, see if the car won't start, which I expect it won't. And then we'll turn it on, start the car. And while the car is running, we're going to turn it off again and see if the car will continue to run. It says it will. So that's, that's what we're going to do. So it should be a pretty simple process. All we got to do is hook it up to the negative terminal here on the battery. So all we really got to do is disconnect this negative. which is what I end up doing every year anyway. I usually just take this off and put it out of the way. Let's get that loose enough to take that off. And then this should sit right on top of there. That's what I'm hoping. And this is all copper, so it should conduct pretty well. I wonder if I should angle it out a little bit and uh, loosen this bolt here. That's pretty tight. That's not going to go anywhere. We're going to put the negative back on. That's where the negative will go on it. I wonder if that's going to be too high for the, for the car to close. For the hood to close on it. We'll have to see. I think we'll still have good hood clearance. Looks like it's pretty level with that. So I think we'll still have good hood clearance on it. And then the last piece, you've got to take this red wire on the back side. And this red wire has to run over to the positive terminal. And that's basically how it gets power. And so that's going to run over to this terminal here. So we're going to loosen this up. Seems like it's turned on because it's beeping at us. So that's tight on there, and then I'm going to just tidy this up a little bit. I'm going to run the wire underneath here and use the twisty tie that came with it. Kind of tidy this back up here for now. Alright, that should be all there is to it. 
Looks like it's got some lights on it here now. That turns it off. That turns it on, you can see the two lights came on it. So right now it's on, which means we should be able to uh, start the car. Let's see if we can turn it off with the key fob. So I turn it off. That turned it off. That turns it back on. So that all seems to be working just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the car, start it up, and uh, see if it'll start. And while it's running, we'll turn it off. Let's give that a try. So here we are in the Mustang. It's got battery power. Should start right up. button and turn it off see what it does it did not turn it off it's still on there it doesn't matter if I hit the on or off at this point if I hit the off button here it still does not want to turn it off all right let's turn the Mustang back off and see if we can prevent it from starting so we're back in the car we turned it off let's press the off button no power it's obviously not going to start now so turn it back on right back on So like I said, it's a disconnect switch, so I'll mainly use it for the winter time here when I want to disconnect the battery. I usually disconnect it and hook a battery changer up to it. Now I'll just, uh, all I have to do is just use the remote to turn it off and uh, put the battery changer on it and be good to go. And if the batteries go bad in your, your key fob, you've always got the on off button here so I can turn it off here. That turned it completely off. That turns it completely on. Super easy to install. Depends on what your, how your battery looks in the car, how it sets and everything. I think that'll clear uh, the uh, hood being closed. Let's see if the hood closes here. Nice. Hood closes, not a problem. So yeah, that'll make it pretty easy in the winter time to uh, disconnect the battery. It's just a push of a button now and hook the battery tender up to it. So if you uh, are looking for a quick and easy way to uh, disconnect your battery, this is a simple way to do it. It's also a good uh, deterrent if you uh, have your car sitting outside all the time and are concerned about maybe somebody trying to steal it. You put one of these on there, it would easily uh, prevent them from starting the car. All right, I wanna thank everybody for watching. Be sure to like this video, give me some comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you guys on the next one.